Hello Darts Nuts, I'm just going to do a review of the new Target Colin Lloyd Darts. Um, I bought these from Madhouse Darts, cost me £21.47 with the Darts Nuts Forum members discount. These darts are available in 18, 21 and 23 grams. This is the 23 gram model. Also came with this uh, free goodie bag of Target flights and stems. Um, these darts go back to the style of darts that Colin Lloyd used to use. Um, I think he had them when he was with Unicorn and before that I think he used them with um, Duro darts. Let's see if we can get the package opened. They're a 90% tungsten dart and as you can see it comes in the new slimline target darts packaging. Darts are already set up with the short target pro grip stems and target vision flights on the guarantee certificates is 23.1 grams. Um, you can activate that on the Target website for the guarantee. I think this is a, the, the name of the new range for the pro players. It says Pro League. What Team Target is about. Target sponsors some of the world's top dart players on every continent from the UK through Europe and North America and through Southeast Asia and Japan. The Target Pro League range showcases the finest of some of our players' darts. So, there you go. Right, let's have a close look at the darts. Right, here's a quick close look and then I'll put a detailed close up. As you can see, the darts come fitted with a silver point. It's got quite a square nose at the front. Just kind of a little bevel there. And then it goes a little bit thicker as it gets onto this nail grip um, that's probably just a medium level of grip just a classic kind of a nail grip but after the nail you've got these fairly widish rings and grooves but uh, I'll probably be gripping it around there myself it's, um, likely to be a little bit frontward because it looks thicker on there but we'll check that out later on the very rear of the bone you've got the target logo that ring grip there is probably only medium as well but you can feel the edges of the rings because the grooves are quite deep and you've got your pro grip stems and these rather nice target vision flights so let's let you have a little quick look at the dart right here's the detailed look of the dart now with all the measurements in detail here's the detailed look at the Colin Lloyd 23 gram darts it's got a 26 millimeter point there's a slight bevel to the square nose of the barrel so including the bevel it's 6.3 millimeters before it gets to a little lip and from there including the nail and to the end of the nail it's 20 millimeters wide and then you've got a series of grooves and quite wide rings of about 16.2 millimeters wide and then there's a smooth section at the rear of the barrel which bevels towards the shaft and that's 8 millimeters wide overall length is 50.8 millimeters and the width is 6.6 .6 millimeters. Let's take some measurements of the barrel the length of the barrel is 50.8 millimeters. Um, let's check that again and make sure. Yeah, it's about 50.8, 50.9. And this nail section looks like it's the widest part of the barrel. That's 6.6 .6 millimeters. And on the ring section goes a little bit narrower, 6.4. 
and then a little bit less towards the end of the barrel. Left three of the barrels. That one is 23.19 grams. 23.14 23.14 so it's really closely matched and it's all matched up with the weight on the certificate which said 23.1 and the full setup as supplied is 24.64 grams I'll just check the balance point now I should imagine it's going to be front of centre with that uh, nail section. I'd say that's the balance there. Definitely uh, front weighted with nothing attached. Just see how much is drilled out. Probably about normal that, around about 10 mil I'd say. And with the supplied setup, it's still just a little bit on the front weighted side, but it's moved closer to the middle. Alright, so that's the close look at the target Colin Lloyd 23 gram darts. So Let's give them a throw and see how they go. Not sure what it is with these, but they actually feel lighter than 23 grams. I don't know why. Um, I'm kind of holding it pretty close to the front. Uh, I probably should grip it around the middle, but I'm sort of like getting a little bit of the effect of this little lip here, and I quite like the feel of it there. So that's where I'm holding it, but. Uh, the darts seem to be landing in the board just a little bit to the left. Uh, I'll just give it a few more throws, see how I get used to them. I don't know why they just feel a bit lighter than what I was expecting. Landed a little bit straighter there in the board. I think I was expecting these to feel a little bit more front heavy with this thicker nail at the front. But uh, feels fairly evenly balanced in the fingers actually, but it does feel lighter for some reason. Uh, I would say this grip on the nail, it's not overly aggressive, it's probably just a medium level. Um, as my fingers are getting a little bit sweaty, I often realise that sometimes it seems to be slippier with the nail, but it's not too bad at the moment. Obviously that is where I don't grip but it's still only a medium level of grip at the rear. Uh, I think that may be just a touch grippier with the edges of the rings, just depends how you grip it. But I'm holding it 
like I said near the front so I'm getting like half on that grip and half in between this little groove there so that's giving me a little bit of extra grip The dart themselves through the air, it's uh, fairly stable, I can't really see much happening, there's not really any major movement, uh, it's probably just the way that I release that sometimes it kind of lands in the board a little bit to the right, but I've also noticed that the landing quite horizontal which is unusual for me, my darts normally land tail up so not sure why could be with the sharp stems on it I think the uh, Colin Lloyd 23 gram darts um, I don't think they quite suit me for some reason I just don't know what it is uh, they just don't seem to feel right for me I don't know why whether it's because of the way that the barrel is shaped at the front with this wider nail and then the thin bit at the front I can't really say because through the air I can't see any like weird movement or anything I, am, I wouldn't say it's perfectly stable through the air but obviously a lot depends on how I throw it but I just don't feel comfortable with them really I think that's the main thing uh, it's a bit of a shame really because I quite like the look of them uh, I think if you're a rear gripper you might get away with that grip at the back but uh, it's hard to say who's going to suit the darts best obviously Colin Lloyd but I um, can't remember how he grips it he has kind of a I don't know it's somewhere like that and I don't really know how he grips it to be honest but I don't think it's uh, a barrel for me and I wouldn't say it was definitely a barrel for front grippers even though it's got that front nail it all depends on how you throw the dart I think it tends to be better when I throw it a little bit harder I notice it seemed to be flying a little bit straighter when I put a little bit more oomph behind it so it could shoot, uh, suit hard f flat throws the best I think Colin Lloyd throws it He's dark quite hard as well, like, but just not for me, I don't think. So that's the end of the review. Thanks for watching.